Hello, this is Keith Hebron with True Principles, and I'm excited to be with you guys today to share some more powerful principles on families and relationships. So today's principle is on communication, and we hear all the time about communication and how important it is in relationships, but usually how we talk about it is, is all this like structure and these parameters behind how to communicate with one another. And I prefer not to do that personally because I don't think uh, when we get into structure and, and parameters, what we're really talking about is technique. And technique can sometimes be effective, but uh, they're not. Certain techniques aren't always applicable in all situations, and that's the power of understanding principles. Is that if we apply a principle, it can be applied in any situation, and it's gonna gonna benefit you in any situation. So we're gonna talk about communication principles rather than techniques. So the first principle that we need to understand about communication is what communication really is. And the first thing that you should understand is that 93% of communication actually has nothing to do with the words that you use. 93% of our communication has everything to do with our, what's called our nonverbal communication. So facial expressions, tone of voice, body language, context, uh, I mean all kinds of different things. Uh, if you roll your eyes or you exhale or there's a sigh, I mean all of these things have these nonverbal meaning to it that we interpret and understand. <clears throat> and it's, it's this nonverbal aspect of communication that we sometimes get, we forget and, and is a hard thing to make a part of all these techniques sometimes that we hear about communication. So just to illustrate this as an example, let's say that your wife asks you if you love her and you, you say, yes. I love you. So in, in that moment, because of the pause and maybe the look down and there's like this kind of moment of pondering going on, that insinuates that maybe you were unsure, right? So that's that nonverbal component of, of that word or the, that phrase. So, but you said, yes, I love you. And, and this is where arguments oftentimes happen because we get wrapped up in the facts. Well, I said that I love you. Like, why are you angry at me? And what we're not accounting for is the real meaning behind it in our nonverbal communication. So versus someone says, or your wife says, do you love me? And you say, yes, I love you. In that, do you hear there's conviction in there? And again, I use the same words, but that nonverbal component is so crucial to our communication with other people. So the first thing I would encourage you guys to do is to pay attention to your nonverbal communication and to... Um, Sometimes we do get wrapped up in the words that people say, but we're not paying attention to the nonverbals. There's times where maybe the words um, don't match up with what they want to say or what we want to hear, but we, we can see sometimes the nonverbal um, communication that might match up. And just depending on the space we're in, we might try to side to either one of the, uh, or the other in order to start an argument and, and get our power needs met and all those kinds of things. So pay attention to what, what's going on there. Uh, the, the second component of communication is that I would encourage you guys to communicate uh, your, your, your love and your affection for the people around you. And that doesn't always mean to use words. So communication, the huge part of communication is simply just about expressing our love and, and compassion and our feelings towards other people. So sometimes that may mean that uh, you need to say to your wife or to your kids, I love you. Um, but sometimes it also may not may mean that you don't um, just say it, that you demonstrate it, that you do acts of service. There's a great uh, resource out there called the Five Love Languages. If you haven't heard of this um, by now, uh, go check that out. Um, there's some really powerful principles in there about understanding about how um, we feel and express love to the people around us. And it's important that we express love in the way that uh, those around us want to have it expressed to them. Um, so really quick story about that. Um, my, when my wife and I first met, I used to take her flowers all the, all the time and I was really excited about it because I loved giving that gift to her. And, but I never really saw the, um, the excitement that I had seen with other women that I had dated before her. And uh, finally I, real, I, I clicked and I asked her, I said, you don't really care that I'm bringing you these flowers to you? And she says, oh, no, I don't. And, so 
I, I realized in that moment that I wasn't expressing my love to her in a way that she wanted um, to be um, to have it be expressed to her. And we'll be talking about this in the next video uh, of value creation and how that shows up a little bit more. But so ask yourself: Are you committing? Are you are you communi communicating your love and your affection and your intentions and your um, your feelings towards the people around you and how are you doing it? Are you doing it in a way that you would prefer or are you doing it in ways that they would prefer? So communicate your love. That's the second uh, love and affection. Communicate your love and affection. That's the second principle here. Uh, the, the other part of communication that I think trumps all of these is uh, to listen. So many times we communicate with the, the people around us and we never stop to actually listen. Uh, if we don't, if there's nobody to listen, communication actually doesn't happen. Communication insinuates an exchange of, of information and, and knowledge and love and support. And, and if we're, so if there's no one on the receiving end of that verbalizing or expression of it, um, then communication is, is, is ruined and, and halted. So make sure that you're listening. If you walk away from this video with one piece, uh, start to listen more often. Uh, seek, we've heard this before, seek to be un, to understand first before you uh, seek to be understood. It's that same principle and just encouraging us to, to listen. So really quick recap, uh, understanding that 93% of communication actually has nothing to do with the words that we use but has more to do with our nonverbal communication. The second component is to, uh, this may not be in order here, uh, is to listen to those around us and, and to make sure that we're receiving what they're saying and seeking to understand them first before we try to communicate our, ourselves to them. And the third principle is to actually e express and communicate our love uh, to the people around us. Those three powerful principles of communication are applicable in any situation and if you apply those principles you don't need structure, you don't need techniques uh, and, and is a lot easier to implement. So again, backing up a little bit to the previous videos, we had the, the principles of trust uh, and really those sub-principles of accountability and uh, authenticity that help to support that feeling of trust. And as that happens, compassion, which was the next video, kind of naturally starts to happen. And uh, we start to, to humanize the people around us rather than objectifying. And as all that is happening and in motion, our, the natural next kind of phase of all of this is communication. As you start to do those three principles that we talked about and implementing that into your communication, uh, we start to create such a powerful flow of um, w within our family and our relationships. So uh, next week we'll be talking about kind of that next component, which is value creation, and that's the that will be the last of these four principles of deep um, and meaningful relationships. So I hope this has created value for you, and please remember your prosperity is always your choice. All right, take care.